Assalamu alaikum. MashaAllah, who comes first, my wife or my mother? That's a question that everybody asks. Many people think it's your mother because you know what? Heaven lies at her service and so much more and she gave birth to you and she looked after you and everything and your wife only came later on in your life and so on and so forth. However, that answer is not accurate. You need to know who comes first. Well, I tell you, both of them come first. You might say, what if there's a dispute? Let me explain. The love that you have for your mother is very different from the love that you have for your wife. Any mothers out there who are listening to me today, your son will love his wife so much, but that love is not stealing from yours, not taking from you. He might not be able to spend as much time with you. Be happy for him. Be excited that he's getting along and moving on with his own life. Subhanallah. And remember, he will always love you, subhanAllah. The same applies to the mothers of the, the daughters who have married. However, when there is a dispute, who comes first? Justice comes first, whether it's with your mother or whether it's with your wife. Whoever is right, that is who we will stand by. But remember to navigate the waters with a lot of respect when you're correcting your mother you must correct her. You must stand up for justice. Listen to this verse. Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu kunu qawwamina lillahi shuhada'a bil qist. Allah says, O oh, you who believe, stand firm for justice for the sake of Allah. Stand firm for the sake of Allah. Be just. For justice we should be standing firm. In another verse Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَوْ عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِكُمْ أَوْ الْوَالِدَيْنِ وَالْأَقْرَبِينَ Even if it is against yourselves, your parents or your relatives, you stand and side with justice. This means if it's against my mother or my father, I will stand with justice and not with my mother or father. If it is against myself, I will stand for justice and not with my mother or father, not even with myself. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us an understanding. Many people fail because they allow their parents to trample over their spouses, claiming that that's my father, that's my mother, those are my parents, they gave birth to me. Please correct yourself, even in the eyes of Allah, that's wrong. Look at Ibrahim alayhi salam and so many of the messengers, may peace be upon them, when they corrected their parents, because they were wrong. They didn't say, you are my parents, so I cannot correct you. You correct them, but be kind and respectful. Notice when Allah speaks about parents in the Quran, instead of using the term obedience, he always uses the term kindness. Be kind to your parents. وَقَضَى رَبُّكَ أَلَّا تَعْبُدُوا إِلَّا إِيَّاهُ وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا Allah has declared you shall worship none besides him and you will be kind to your parents. That verse happens to repeat itself with different wordings or that the meaning of it. Uh, subhanallah, pointing at the same thing to say be kind to your parents. But obedience is for Allah. Remember this. So if your mother is wrong and she's a human being, she will be wrong many times in her life. You need to stand up for justice in a kind way, beautiful way. Explain to her. Sometimes you might have to detach. You may have to leave the house because if you're living together and your mother or father is oppressing your spouse or your children, you will definitely have to make the decision perhaps to protect them if nothing is happening by you speaking to them then you might have to leave the place and this is why islam allows you or instructs you to offer a separate quarters to your wife may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us an understanding i said in one of my previous episodes not everyone can afford that but my beloved mothers and fathers be kind go easy on the spouses of your children, be they male or female, be very kind. And you know what? Be accommodating, understand. And those of us who have mothers-in-law, remember, respect them. That's the mother of your spouse. Give them kindness. Talk to them, communicate with them. Let's have a better relationship. They're not bad and you're not bad. Shaitan is bad. 
So this topic that I had today of who comes first, your mother or your wife, when, it, when there is a problem and an issue, actually justice comes first. And for kindness, both of them come first. For love, both of them come first. It's a different type of love altogether. The way I love my spouse is very different from the way I love my mother. In fact, the type of love that I have for my mother, my parents, very different. So I'm not taking from one to give the other. This is what some people think. And that's why there is a lot of push and shove. There is a lot of tugging that happens in relationships. Let not that be. Be happy when your children are happy. And try to support those whom they love. May Allah make it easy. Let's live a life filled with respect and dignity, standing up for justice. Do not allow oppression to reign in the home. I've really heard many people from cultural homes claiming to be religious, not standing up for justice and thinking that this is my parent, therefore I shouldn't. Well, you've gone directly against the clear-cut instruction of Allah in more than one place in the Quran where he tells you to stand firm for justice no matter whose side it is or it is with. So you're a good Muslim, you must learn to stand up for what is right. That's when you have fulfilled your obligation unto Allah to begin with and then upon those who are oppressed and wronged. And like I said, it doesn't matter who it, who it is. It doesn't mean that those are your parents, they can never be wrong. They can be wrong and they must be corrected and they are human beings and that is not depicting unkindness. You are the most kind when you correct your parents, even if they feel bad, even if they offer you statements of blackmail to say, I'm your mother, I'm your father, you can't do that to me, you can't say this to me. We can, I can, everybody can. Ibrahim alayhi salam did, he fulfilled the duty. He says, oh my father, follow me. I will show you the path. You are at the moment following the devil. So he kept talking to his father in a good way. The father threatened him. The father kicked him out. He enjoyed it in the sense that he went out because he was in love with Allah to the degree that Allah comes first. So let's learn these examples. There are so many other examples, but sufficient is what I've just said. Now, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us a true understanding. Aqulu qawli hadha. Wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa